Hey guys, welcome back. It's going to be looking at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and looking after yourselves. Uh, hopefully it, life is not too busy. We're getting on to the weekend now. Fusion just started and it's looking pretty uh, easy fusion actually and not so resources demanding. I'm still skipping it though. So uh, made my choice. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to regret this. Um, it's a really cool fusion, really strong fusion. And stuff like that but anyway before i get into today's video i kind of want to just go over something uh that we generally do in twitch we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now and i kind of just wanted to mention it right so um you can enter my discord or first of all you need to enter my discord down in the comments down below if you want to skip this you can uh but i'll probably advise not to skip this uh so don't really in saturday streams now we start at 7 p.m gmt time on twitch my link is also down below in the comments uh we started doing sub saturday so what is sub saturday sub saturday is basically like a um option of being able to come in and get like a coaching sessions and stuff like that okay so what i mean by this is every saturday now you'll see that i have in my discord uh events which should be here and then we're starting to start doing a couple of events for you guys and generally try and help you and stuff like that and i've been doing this for my regulars with my regulars in twitch where they sub to my channel uh, i think it's like a couple of pounds couple of dollars uh, and then they get like a champion regear and a um, coaching session and basically i'll help them and advise on where to focus on with accounts obviously i'm very well known for p versus e and p versus e um early game uh late game I'm more a late game than anything on an end game, but uh, I can kind of play a bit of both, both, uh, both as well. So this could be anything from live arena strategies, uh, gear cleansing strategy, uh, great hall, faction wars, doom tower, city, uh, anything that you are generally stuck on. If you don't know where to work on next in the game, I can advise you and help you go forward. And now uh, it's the weekly sessions. Uh, so you basically will get the champion regear once a month for the sub perk and then a coaching session weekly as well. And then we can keep doing the weeklies and then I can keep you up to date on your account. Maybe one week for a change or shift on your account, one thing, and then something we work on that together. So it's not so much of a takeover as me, uh, kind of guiding you what to do, give you the stats, etc., and give you that extra pair of eyes that you might need on your account. How do you enter? You can simply come into this uh, and then press interested here. Uh, and then basically this will happen. Uh, I think we're doing about 10 to 20 people at the moment, but I stream for six hours. So there's plenty of time for me to do plenty of people uh, throughout that event. Now I do do also live arena within this area. So within this time, so that two hours of the stream, uh, there will be basically no coaching until the live arena is done. Uh, if you don't want to sub to the channel because you can't afford it or you don't want to for any other reason that is perfectly fine once we are finished with the coaching sessions then we will start with the channel points coaching session so you watch the stream you earn some channel points uh it's perfectly free you press that channel point redemption for the champion uh coaching which is generally 1000 channel points doesn't take long to get i think twitch gives you like 300 just for starting off watching a stream and following uh, if you want the champion Riga, that is another 5,000 channel points on top, which is also perfectly free. It will take a little bit of while for you to get it. I do need a little bit of silver, maybe some gems to reset some masteries if they're bad. So that is generally it there. That is uh, like, I suppose, just me giving you guys on my YouTube community uh, the chance to come in and do that, right? Because uh, probably the YouTube side doesn't isn't aware of this. So that is going to happen on every Saturday. Uh, from pretty much forever right there might be one or two times where it might not happen anyway <clears throat> let's get into today's video grim you are chatting too much let's get into today's video and let's push pretty hard as you can see i'm looking pretty slick right now because i've gone to the hairdresser trim my beard a little bit uh so the missus is happy quite generally uh anyway let's get into today's video uh today's video we're going to be looking at a champion showcase of a free legendary who is meta right now he's still quite fairly meta in the arena um basically a really really good champion and that is gonna be no other champion than song wong 
I've had people asking me how to build him. Uh, they want to see a new champion showcase of him. I don't actually think I've covered him before in a champion showcase, but he basically carried me all the way to gold three in arena before I had King, before I had him, before he uh, before he had his buff, right? Um, and stuff like that. So him and Rodus generally did all the backbone work for me. So today we're going to have a look at this champion. Um, I'm going to go over his kit very quickly. He has a stun on EA1. This is a 25% chance. Gets booked up to a uh, 50. It looks like and it increases to 50 if there's any uh, any buffs. Then it has like a sheep on this ability. We'll also ignore 50% target defense. Uh, we'll do any surplus damage if they kills a target. It's super, super hard. But UDK is like basically his arch. His arch enemy with this, right? And then he attacks one enemies here before attacking, puts block buffs. Doesn't weak it because it's placed before they're attacking. Uh, as long as you have enough accuracy, he'll place it. And he'll do a strip as well. And it hits fairly decent. He has a speed aura as well in arena uh, by 28 speed. Super strong as well. And then he has like a 10 accuracy, 65 critical damage. 105 speed, really good speed, and solid attack of 1586. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's have a look. We're going to bring him in for Arena and try and find where Germany would be fitting in the best. So, we're going to bring some couple of free to play champions other than Sifi. Sifi is not free to play. My apologies about that, but she's my fastest champion if I like it or not. Or you can see Hedgy as well, depending on which one you want to see. Let me down in the comments below uh which one you want to see right okay cool so uh we're gonna do a couple of fights we'll swap them up in different teams uh, and stuff like that so my go-to was always lightning cage on this champion uh i've generally took the lightning cage off generally because king's e3 clounces lightning cage as a debuff and it is a disaster if um he gets hold of you right so it's basically night night if um it will count as a debuff basically and um, screw you and get a block buff. So we only need like increased attack, increased speed, lightning cage going around him, and a sit block buff. So he's going to block revive you with the A3 there. So hits pretty solid there. 210k damage. My uh, my guy done also quite a bit of damage there with 38k somehow. Uh, as you can see, we're super fast with this style of team. You do need to be first in general. Uh, Foley is a little bit of a problem actually because of the stun. Actually, we can we can beat this with uh, a non uh, stun champion. So we'll use my fast warlord in this one, uh, so we don't have to worry about the fusion setting off Foley's passive and then getting block revive on him. Uh, so why do I use him? Overall, self revive passive is probably the strongest thing about his kit. In all fairness, can really throw off a lot of people in live arena. He's great in normal arena. I think, like personally, I prefer him as a nuker other than a um, other than a CC champion. Can also build him CC champion. Um, and the reason why I don't think I'd build him as a nuker now, generally because with the new champion, um, with the new future champion who does sheep and bypasses UDK. I think it's kind of a little bit of a waste having him and the fusion with high accuracy. I'd rather kind of switch up so you can put them together. Nice little combo together as well. Um, you'd be able to sheep you decay with the fusion, right? Um, and then it opens up the whole team for monkeys nuke. So uh, yeah, King is something you gotta be careful of. So I do prefer Harvest Cass as the blessing right now. It does allow you to do plenty of damage as well, which we'll go over. Once I show you his gear, um, <clears throat> he does need really good speed. You want him to have super strong speed, just generally for arena purposes, live arena mainly. Um, and he's a super key champion. I think he's the most used champion in arena right now, if I'm honest. So uh, as you see there, we did get resisted. Uh, so we are able to one shot the king there, which is super, super cool. Uh, and then we're just going to keep overlapping. As you can see, my monkey is pretty solid. He is very well built. And um, I have the four star blessing actually from when they did a Titan event, right? So uh, his blessing is actually very free to play blessing. 
And one day, you know, if I can afford to take him to six star blessing, I'll I would do it in a heartbeat. Like that's how good this guy is. I would do it in a heartbeat. I think he is super overpowered. Uh fusion champion. Sorry, uh free champion. And I think he is as good as better than Ronda. And Ronda is a favourite of mine as well, in all fairness. So uh yeah, I really like Ronda, I really like him. And they're both free champions, so that's why we're covering them on a channel, just to kind of give you a heads up, like, hey, you don't need the strongest champions, you don't need to be a master spender in this game. There is free champions in this game, or do generally come along if you're watching this and you're fairly new as well, that are quite um accessible, right? So uh we've also got Monkey here, we're bring the fusion back in. I don't know about the fusion or not, I know. Uh, a lot of people take him uh, monkey. Not monkey, uh, sheep on the fusion, but generally I think it's better to take um, the blessing that I've got on him actually compared to sheep. Because if you are building him to go fast as possible, I think you just you just take it right. So mine's pretty fast, uh, three seventy five or some like that, five hundred fifty accuracy just under. Uh, another monkey here. We don't get a kill there. Seems a bit. I've got like a little bit of too much accuracy, maybe. And I think we've crashed. Yeah, I think we've crashed. Uh, anyway, let me uh, go ahead and come back after this once we fix the crash. Okay, so let's go ahead to see if we can find some go second teams after that crash happened in the Plarium and uh, everything else that happened. See if we can find some go second teams that don't have like a UDK uh, available. Or being a pain in my behooty uh, and stuff like that, and look at like a go second team more or less. So if we will look at a setup like this, uh, similar to this. It's kind of hard to find like good teams that to attack right now because like king queens everywhere, um, Taurus bridge everywhere, and mythicals everywhere right now in platinum arena. So it's a little bit more difficult to do champion showcases, but he is probably one of the best uh arena champions on my account right now so uh still using fairly a lot in all fairness uh we're gonna go ahead and sheep her no we get resisted she had bigger plans for me uh which is a little bit of a worry uh we're weak affinity to everyone right now so let's go ahead and try and kill okay cool we do kill um we are able to go ahead and kill King there, which is super effective. Obviously, Duchess brings you like a lot of protection anyway, especially a very fast Duchess like mine. Not super fast though. Um, I'd like to put her with uh, all types of champions before. This is a high resistance queen that looks like, which is a bit odd. Not seen a lot of high resistance ones before, but maybe it's new meta with all the accuracy stuff coming out we need to be careful because we do have king here and he's gonna pommel me instead <laughs> he's gonna pommel me but at least he didn't do the a3 because i had three boss something then yeah so king is like super strong right now uh he does get that and he gets that off and right now it's not looking so good and all fairness i'm only in trouble because i couldn't uh sheep her that is why I'm in general in trouble. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and sheep him. And just going to try to get rid of her because they are causing me a hassle right now. Uh, and I don't need to break a sweat. Just have my head done. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get this done. This is not the ideal team. To get this done, but we're gonna try. Uh, obviously, he can't attack me. Mm. So we go ahead to do that. We're gonna sheep uh, queen because I think lockout might be ready. So you more or less gotta be careful to, when you do that. Uh, and she can't reset herself, which is fine. So we saved this fight pretty much, uh, and you can see that that passive. Uh, was working like intended the way I wanted it to work right which is 
uh, generally why I use him so much because he's like a lifeline. I lost my Duchess to the block revive. Pretty strong setup. I know it took a little bit long, but I generally wanted to kind of to show you the passive in action. And obviously, if I come here and win all the fights, make everything look so easy. I'm not showing his full utility of the kit, right? And obviously, we do these to kind of show you the the champions in full action, right? Uh, so I'm not too sure if we're faster and Don. I don't want to really go in and hit the heal with another speed team. In all fairness, but I know I'm only going to beat this with this tile steam if I go first. UDK kind of puts me off this. Uh, I suppose in some fairness we could try Lady Makagi because he has like good synergy together and it will increase our accuracy because i think she's faster and this warlords 356 so we just swap warlords and then we should be fine so we've got two speed auras which is super super strong so yeah lady makagi super strong with monkey increase mon uh, increase accuracy sometimes uh could be quite viable right with like especially going up against like a udk right now like, which is what we're basically gonna do so anyway we're gonna come in drop the 10 meter normally these style teams i'd probably use ronda and all fairness but you know we're gonna do this for science uh we're gonna go ahead and try sheep cfi which we do and then we can go ahead and increase the accuracy to kind of deal with udk as well um which is generally what i want to try and do i want to try and sheep him if i can and we should be able to lock up duchess with that super cool um i'll be honest i don't think i can sheep udk there no because we still don't have enough resistance uh and hopefully he will have enough resistance to do his thing mm -mm -mm. uh when you're ready might miss that lightning cage in a second uh so we're gonna lose accuracy up on the fusion kind of sucks a little bit Let's see if we can sheep him no because he's veiled okay oh so we do strip anyway mm. and obviously dutch is a monkey locked out now so it's not too shabby do a re stun there uh we'll try to do a strip we get it on some I think we actually got it on there as well maybe mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna wait for this to come back round. obviously this monkey can actually one-shot me as well if um if he's given the chance to one-shot me so it's something we need to be careful of uh still can't do anything just yet but wait for that stone skin to come in you can see that udk is the problem for monkey uh especially like with resistance right that's why like everyone's running high resistance udk uh so again we'll try and maybe we'll save it i feel like we're gonna lose makagi in a second uh we'll put the shields up here and then let's do that and then we're gonna do this so he has increased defense and can ignore a lot of damage uh with that so we're pretty much one shot there with our increase attack right um and then we're just going to carry on with this transform ally attack will clean us up nicely from lady wakagi which will give us increased attack critical damage buff as well so super solid uh monkey again uh solid team uh etc i don't know if there's anyone else here i can take i'm not definitely taking on tree tree taurus right now that looks very painful uh i probably could beat it with other champions uh we have bexas here beck is a good player uh i do take his team on quite regularly when i'm doing these type of videos okay cool so we have a torment here we have a monkey with sheep so there's a lot of sheep here he's feeling very sheepish obviously he likes there's two sheep around <laughs> i should really stop making the sheep jokes but you know we can't resist it uh and then we'll try and bring in duchess back in uh actually let's bring in necrid right necrid is super solid so uh let's bring necrid and necrid will offer me immunity to that cp as well so necrid will come in here mine's in bolster um do need to change up a couple of our builds talking about this on stream the other day that 
to Google might be able to update it compared to Meta. Mm. Just generally because of King and stuff like that. So uh, we can draw ahead, drop some 10 meter. We need to be careful of um, him. So we're going to go ahead and sheep him. I don't need to be uh, freeze, etc. Mm, that's why exactly bringing in the uh, bringing in there. And we're going to go ahead and put this on the fusion. Warlord's done his job anyway now, so he gets frozen. It's not so bad. But this guy will rapidly go for his turn, so he generally needs it. He doesn't put many buffs, but I want to protect him anyway. Mm. We're taking quite a bit of damage right now, but then I'm waiting for like reaction and stuff like that to cycle through. And then obviously AoE stun, super nice. We will sheep. Or oh, tried to sheep. Um uh, CP looks like it's another high resistance. A lot of people run in high resistance, right? We'll get some damage in here. Mm. And then we're gonna hit Necrid. So with the surplus damage, it isn't quite important to kind of hit the people that you're gonna kill. Uh or the person you can kind of kill. So like Nuka, stuff like that, and that's how you'll get the surplus damage. It's always proc really. Um, I mine monkey's pretty solid, so it's like pretty fairly okay to kind of try and kill, right? Um, so see if he actually <laughs> revived monkey there, screwing him up. You don't really want to do that. You want to um, you want monkey to revive because it throws people off the the turn counts and stuff like that. Especially a lot of people in live arena that count the turns. I know I always do it as well. Uh, so there we are, pretty much solid. Mr. Monkey. So anyway, let's go into the arena build and then we'll talk a bit more about his build. Okay, so here we are. This is the Mr. Monkey. We have one piece savage. We have one piece crawl. We're ignoring 30% defense. Uh we have a four star blessing. So let's start with the masteries and then I'm gonna go with my uh thinking about the masteries. So let's go ahead and turn off the camera. Uh no, that's my screen. Uh the camera is me just here so anyway so let's talk about some couple of key masteries and some things that might change here so right now we have heart of glory so i would actually come in with eagle eye at sea now we've got 850 gems which brims a bit of a tight bomb on his gems so it doesn't want to do it uh okay so let's talk about some key masteries and we have deadly precision i definitely would do that keen strike then shield breaker the reason why i do shield breaker this will give you 25 percent equal ignore uh 25 percent damage increase now you have champions like UDK, Duchess, who puts Duchess shields on herself, Necrid, Taurus and Mariska, because Mariska does it, uh, King Queen, who put shields on them. Like all of them, pretty much, all the meta legendary champions put some type of shield, right? So Shield Breaker is a must for me on Monkey. Uh, then you're going to come in with uh, Wiz, uh, Wrath of Death, because you want him to go faster as much as possible, and Ruthless Ambush. Then you're going to come in a cycle of uh violence now i feel like slayer wrath he's generally quite stronger if you're not running the fusion but if you're running the fusion you've got to remember that in the day he is placing stuns so this would give you increased 12 percent damage so i think that for me opportunity is the better mastery here uh and then i would come in with kill streak here with increased attack and then um methanome and then uh Helm smasher as a tier six option then I'll come down the defense tree uh, here and take retribution for that A1. Now, I've only got accuracy here because I used to run like a quite similar hybrid build and uh, he worked for like a long time in Live Arena, but I don't really recommend like hybrid builds and I don't really like hybrid builds. You are either doing one job and one job only, right? There's no point in me building him to nuke and CC for like a Live Arena. At that time, he kind of worked for that, right? This is the only time that I really kind of build hybrid teams. Tormen, perfectly fine. He does two jobs, right? So he's fine. But I think the Tormen is probably like one of the few champions where I would recommend doing it. Anyway, Blessing. Uh, for me, you're going to come in. The number one choice would be Harvest Cast for Arena. Um, this will give you 
quite a lot of buffs so increase your damage inflicted by this champion according to the number of buffs on them so the more buffs they have the more damage it increases this doesn't include like poisons hatred burns stuff like that and then it goes up by 0 0.5 each buff uh and then one percent damage for each buff and then here you can get a whopping two percent damage which doesn't sound like a lot but it is for six percent so uh yeah uh you can also take phantom touch if you wanted uh let me down know in the comments which one you two you guys prefer and why you prefer them kind of interested to see i think line of cage is still very strong for him for live arena or something but not really doing live arena much these days uh okay let's go through the bit uh banner so today ideally we're looking for attack with attack of stat we have critical damage with attack of stat again looking for so i would like a bit more attack of stat on this in future but right now we've got a double roll on it and then we have attack ring with attack percentage uh percentage and then we have speed boots with speed uh ascended with attack of stat and critical rate attack boots with uh speed and then we have critical damage, critical rate, attack percentage, and ascended attack. And then we also have critical rate and speed here. Uh, and then we have critical rate, critical damage to speed. Accuracy is a bonus. And then again, we have the critical rate, critical damage, and attack substat. So there we are. Let's go ahead and look at the stats overall. We have a whopping 313 critical damage. We have a 230 speed and 7,516 attack. It is a hell of a build i understand like super strong build i understand but my game is in game account and i am quite competitive in the arena for as a low spender right so uh that's something that i kind of look at anyway super strong build there you are there's my monkey my song i'm not even gonna try and pronounce his name but just call him son uh, that's my son build right uh super cool hopefully you enjoy this Please remember to like, comment, and sus uh, subscribe to the channel where we are posting daily content, educational videos to try and help you guys improve in the arena. If you guys want to see any champion showcases on any champions, let me down below and I'll do my best to get them to champions out. And let me know where you want to see them as well. We'll look a bit more into P versus E uh, content, a bit more Hydra on champions, uh, a bit more on P versus P, like uh, Dragon and stuff like that. And just kind of open up the our thinking when it comes to arena and stuff like that anyway uh thank you for watching till the end i've been Rune reaper i'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's video go and check out the youtube at uh, size so the twitch link down below and my discord i've been green reaper i'll see you on the next one peace